Hey all. Someone asked for a lesson on uh, the needle and the damage done, the one from uh, the Unplugged show. And I think that's the one I just listened to. Um, I, it's a little bit different, I think, than the ones he was doing, you know, when it was a new song. <laughs> but um, basically the same. And uh, it's in standard tuning, and the, the it goes like this. The, the intro basically is the same as the verses and everything else. It's the same thing repeated over and over. Um, with just a couple of little minor changes, but it goes like this. And that's, that's the intro part, and uh, it does that a bunch of times over and over. So it starts on D, right? And then you just take your middle finger off the high E string so it's open. So in uh, some of the versions that you see him do, he, he keeps doing that on that high E string from the second fret and then off. He'll do that through say the first three chords, like this. But I think in this one, he just does it the first time. And the rest are like this. So after that first D, this is just the, it's a C, kind of a C. Um, keep the B string at the third and then go A string at the third. Same chord except now the A string walks down to second and then on the next chord it walks down to the first. So if you're not used to doing that stretch that one might take a little work for a beginner but it's, it's really not that hard. And then all right so that next part it's on it's a C so you want when you're doing that C you hammer on you hammer on the D string of the second fret and then the G string of the second fret but you hit a B so you kind of go picking pattern of this part. Right? That's just an F. Suspend the G string at the third and then back off. So it's still an F but on that G string you go 3-2 open with an F. This is an E but suspend it out, so all three A, D, and G strings at the second fret. Back to an E, suspend it. So then, we, to climb back up and start again, you're, after your... So that's the G string goes back up to second fret, and then open B string. So he's into the vocal, the verse part. Then he does a C. He doesn't do the doesn't do that part when he's actually singing the vocal. He does a C, but on this version, on the unplugged one, he covers that high E at the third fret. So let's see. Just like you had in the intro to F, right? Except he keeps that high E covered at the third fret, so it goes 
Well, we'll start from the, the verse. Just an F with the high E cover the third. And if you watch a video of Neil playing acoustic, he's got, he's really using his whole, it's not, if I were strumming this, I would strum it more with my wrist than my elbow. <laughs> but Neil's not like that. And that's part of the, how he gets the, you know, he gets that, uses his whole elbow for the strums. So if you want it really played like he does, you got to get his his strum down. But I kind of play it like I would. thing and then when it comes to the end of it it does the same walk out that just ends on that I don't know what chord it is but that's what it ends on if you have any trouble with it let me know but I don't think you you really should have much of a problem with it because it's the same thing over you know sort of uh, dear prudence and can't find my way home a bunch of songs are the same same uh, you know, a lot of those. Good luck. If you have any trouble, let me know.